Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. It's you. Welcome, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, to this edition of What a Horse. My name is Jerry Williams, and I'm here with the world's famous Jerry Harris. <laughs> you had to throw that in. What, what, what is it that he calls you? The love the doctor. doctor. Yeah, here he is. Here is the love doctor. <laughs> Jeremy's getting married today. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that means we got to hurry up, don't you? You better take us to commercial. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to what a ho to this edition of What a Horse. I'm, I've got a few announcements. Barn party. They, they call this barn party pig picking. May fourth, two thousand twenty-four. That's Saturday in Georgia. This right here is Carol Missile Nine. Call her. This is their new barn down there. They're going to okay. have a Express Band, Dixie Express. They're going to do a little bit of everything. Call Carol at 919-437-6597. Uh, Publix invited. Hey, they're going to have a good time. We might have to slip off. That's down. right. Might have to go down and check it out. Yeah. All right. In Mid-South, Walking Horse Show is May the 4th. That's in Parker's Crossroads. Call... Uh, Gary Gilmore, 731-693-6978, start time 6 p.m. Brian Brewer will be the judge. And then you got a night out, that's in Eaglewood, Tennessee, located at the Lions Club Arena. Contact Sarah at 423-507-4811, start time's 5, Brent Colburn. Boy, it's a long ways for him to go. Yeah. He's still up in East Tennessee. Uh-huh. Oh, no, that ain't they that, that far. That, no. That's pretty close. That's pretty no. close. I was thinking that was in West Tennessee. No. Parks in Crossroads in West, West Tennessee. West Tennessee, yeah. Well, this weekend, we, uh, of course, everybody knows that the USDA has put out their ruling that's going to take place uh, February the 1st. Uh, they know we're going to have a lawsuit. They're eliminating everything. Things that aren't listed there 
really, really hit home because it, it doesn't make, some of it doesn't make sense. They say that uh, soaring has been used almost exclusively, it doesn't say only, it says almost exclusively in training certain Tennessee walking horses and racking horses. Then it goes on to say that the rule is going to apply to horses walking, trotting, or otherwise moving forward. Then that it's, uh, they say that they promote that uh, the HPA prohibits against sword horses participating in shows, exhibitions, sales, and auctions, and extends to events, and that's all events of all breeds. So what they're, what they're saying, they're pointing the finger at the Tennessee walking horse, but they're leaving the door open to where they can turn right around once they get us and say, well, saddle bridge, here we come. Oh, yeah. And we've already shown when they turn the first saddle bread down for a rub because of a boot, it showed exactly what we've been saying for years. Now the saddlebred trainer called that natural wear and tear on during training. Yes. We have the same problem. Yeah. The same problem. It's not because we use caustic chemicals. It's because we have to take extremely great care of the horse's feet. And it, it's just, uh, it's just unreal. And it's unreal what we go through at horse shows. This weekend, and I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm going to go ahead and call for the video of a horse that was turned down because of sensitivity. However, this horse right here got the show. And that's a saddlebred horse. Yeah, that's a saddlebred. Yes. Now, he, he ain't going to sit there. Here's another one doing the same thing. Both of these horses got to show. But when it comes to a Tennessee walking horse, now this is a Tennessee walking horse. This horse didn't get to show. Said he was sensitive on his feet. And this horse here, you can see right here, this horse didn't move half as much as the other horse. Not, well, not at all. Well, you don't hold see me, move. He ain't even really moving. moving. That's what I'm saying. She's holding his hand, or holding his foot, I'm sorry. But it, it's just ridiculous what they expect of a Tennessee walking horse that don't expect it from other breeds. And a lot of people need to go back and look at the history. They keep talking about what we do, what we do. Well, where did we get the idea to do what we do? Or what some of the trainers did yeah. do? But you tell me, what's the difference in between that horse moving, that horse right there and the other horse moving? I mean, if they talking about they won't turn down a horse because you get a reaction when you push on it, the other horse moved like snatched the foot out of his hand, out of the person's well, she, hand. That horse ain't snatching his that foot. That horse ain't snatching his foot yeah, at all. Anybody that knows, if you feel something that hurts, you're snatching. Yeah. You're not barely moving. So which one of them was in the most pain? That's right. One of them got to show, the other one didn't get to show. It's that simple. And that same lady, that same lady on a measurement, a 50-50 measurement, she called a horse out. Well, like that right there, look at this. That's a high band on one foot, low band on another, but the horse got to show. But she calls up Amy, the one that was there this week, called a horse out for a 50-50 measurement, and this is a big deal. Three and three because Looks like it's dead in, dead in. I watched. They measured it, the horse is dead Two on. Inches. Two inch of foot. Looks like it's dead in to me. Four inch of foot. She said she couldn't remember. Couldn't remember. Perfect. He was perfect. Well, when we went back in, you could see Amy come out there. The BMO that found the horse out said he was out. Came out there. He said, what did you find? He said, perfect, and walked off. Yeah. When we went back in, we noticed she went back over to her pad and wrote something down. I got a friend that went by there. 
I said, if you get a chance, take a picture of it. It's laying right out there on the table. When he walked over to the concession stand to come back time from the bathroom, he just reached over and took a picture of it. She went back over there and on 50-50 wrote bilateral. I called the gentleman yesterday and asked him, what did she turn you down on? 50-50. I said, she didn't say nothing else. No, she didn't say nothing else. I said, you sure? And he said, no. I said, that's what she got me for. She said, yeah. I was, my shoeing was wrong, but he said the other guy measured it and said it was right. Now, my point is this. If a VMO will do that, and now this gentleman's back home thinking he got turned down on a 50, 50 measurement, and she's put bilateral on there. You know, how many other things that happened that way in the past that nobody didn't know nothing about? Well, we know one. They, they got one of your horses. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That that, that Phil Scar, which we did a video on it last week. Had information in it. The DQP refused to write it that's because right. it was not an HPA violation. So she turned around and says, well, I'll just get it for inflammation. Now, that was, she was heard saying this. Yes. And the, B, the BMOs and the USDA, they constantly come after us for everything under the sun claiming it's a violation and they can't even control their own people. Now that's Reimer, Dr. Reimer. He's the one that's supposed to control them. If we can't trust them to be honest, how can we trust anything they do? Yeah. And, and we've always seen them. We've got them on video and everything else palpating wrong. We've got them on video doing things they shouldn't, giving hand signals to get them to find the same spot. We even had one year we found their cards where they put a cross on it and marked where, where the, they wanted them to find a violation. And even in the report, the 225 pages, there's one in there that says a sub-slit sub -lit group of horses were uh, predetermined to be probably sore. To me, that's targeting. Yeah. I mean, you're saying, well, that, that bunch of old young, they're probably sore. It's the same thing, but we have to put up with it. We have to live with it. That's why people, I'm telling you, it's important, not just for the Tennessee walk horse, Saddlebreds, the Morgans, the Hackneys, Possifi, all of you. Fox Trotters. Better get with it. Come join us. If you don't, they get us. They're getting y'all. I yeah. guarantee you they're going to get y'all. Let's go and watch some video from the Frank Fleen. Golden Honor. But there's Golden Honor and Dan Waddell. I tell you what, I, I enjoy talking to George and Clem, Kim Lewis. They, yes. They are. They're some nice people. They're super good people. That's good location up there to go do horse shows. Oh yeah, that is a good, that is a good place. They done a lot of upgrading to that place. Well, I remember when we was up there, I could stand where you video from and we could watch them in, in the inspection area. Yeah. And, and give a perfect shot. Dan's doing a good job. He, he, Dan doing a real good job. That young lady right there, that was her first show as an adult. And I was shocked when I saw her in there because I, I called her grandfather and texted him and I said, I thought she had another year. But she didn't. She didn't have another year. But I, I'd say that's one way to move into the adult yes, division. That's right. Amateur ladies. Said, I'm here, get ready. He's a lucky strike. Aubrey Derrickson is in the saddle for Dr. Ralph Derrickson, Morehead, Kentucky. He's a lucky strike, and Aubrey, your ladies, amateur walking champion. You know that girl right there, you talking about all this stuff and, and all these horses that's going on. That horse right there, they're, they're uh, offering him for consideration to sell. 
That surprised me. That's a good horse, buddy. Kim said we can only keep so many, but this is open, amateur, you name it. That right there, that horse right there fit right in it. Yep, you're right. But what I was saying is, you know, that that young lady that just turned to be an adult and showing, mm -hmm. they're, this, they are trying to take this away from her. Yeah, I know. They're trying to take it away from the kids. From the kids and, they were, and everybody, you know. I don't think people have realized the impact that this industry, these towns, the Shelbyville, the impact that that would Mr. put, Drew especially Blue. on your charity. Family. Here's Mr. True Blue and Blue. Jake Jacobs. That horse, that made a real good show. I tell you what, they, they better watch him in that That's canter right. class because he, he went right into that counter like it wasn't nothing. And that's a big deal. Yep. But if you look at all the farrier, tax shops, fast food, restaurants, filling stations. There's going to be a major impact, especially on the charities. I do not know of one horse show that does not benefit a charity. You are right. And not to mention the trainers. Dixie. The trainers. There she is. I sang Dixie. I sang Dixie in 52 is second. You know, I was raised up in this business, and I raised my kids up in this business, you know, and that'd be a big loss. Yeah, I mean, you, you got a son that's trying to get married today. That's, that's right. That now, if this goes through, he's gonna have to find another occupation. Please, yeah. And they say, oh, it'd be all right. I got news for you, even the flat shot people. Some of them are talking about it. everything's gonna be. They take the pads, the action device, they take the, 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 the bands, no, it ain't gonna be all right. No. Here's Park Performance Reserve. She made a great show on that horse. Yeah. And that's another horse that shows in the amateur and the open. Won a lot of state classes when he was on the full package. Well, Jerry, you know, that performance horse brings a lot. You look at the spectators that's at the the international mm -hmm. the Pledge of Horse Valley World Jay Championship Jay show, Jay and you look at the spectators at the Walk Horse Celebration. Well, you can look at the ones at the at the Saddlebred show the other night. They their stands wasn't packed. That's right. So, pe people, I'm telling you, y'all can sit back. That horse was unreal. Yeah. She told her daddy. She said. The amateur goes the first way, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm going the second way. <laughs> that girl is something. I, I was talking to her grandfather Saturday night, and he told me, he said, yep, so she called me the other day and said, Papa, I need you over here. <laughs> she called back in a few minutes and said, Papa, you coming? He said, what do you need? She said, I need to be relocated to the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Honor and remember and Dan Waddell. That horse was outstanding. Yes. Boy, I love the way you go. That's real nice fluid. Yes. Just as easy going. It's 1787, honor and remember. Dan Waddell in the saddle for George and Kim Lewis, Newfield, Alabama. Unreal. That's the way it, that's the way it is, buddy. And there's a little girl goes in there and plays with that horse. That's right. But they're saying these horses are abused. Give me a break. I tell you, it, it's a shame that we have to put up with a government, part of the government, that it's their way or the highway. They don't care if it's true or not. They say they're using the academic science. They were picking and choosing. There's every, every test that has ever been run says that nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong with the pads and the action advice. They do no harm. We better go take a short break. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. 
ACSI also named Subaru number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Subaru number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro. 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion Stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. <laughs> We're going to go to the extravaganza, and I'm going to have to say I ate some of the best barbecue I'd ever ate. Oh, yeah. They really did. They, they had a sauce that was just unreal. Here's your lemon under. This was a good class, real good class of horses. They were all in there showing their stuff. Wasn't real big, but the three that was in there was getting it done. Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. The Megalodon and Wilder Way was reserved with Dixie Majorette and Charlie Goldman finishing out the ribbon. But they was all looking good in there. I can tell you that. Love to watch them kids. And you know, them kids right there really enjoyed it. Oh yeah. And they say that this don't help a kid, the, the um, while the way. Tell me about it. You know, he's autistic. Yeah. And this is what makes his day is to hey. ride that horse. And it, it, have you noticed the way he is with it? I mean, he is just a, out there, he'll talk to people never. That's I right. Mean, no, no, I just, what the USDA is trying to do is wrong. You are exactly it's right. Simple. I, and I'm not saying every trainer we got holier than thou. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is to destroy an industry yes. over a few is wrong. If you want to do something, go get the ones that you that you really want to get. Yeah. But Allie Jo, like you said, the story she told her granddaddy that she yeah. needed to come to the barn. That means she really wants to oh, be She loves there. the barn. And she loves to be around them horses. Look at her. Now here's a little, eight years old, wouldn't weigh 100 pounds, she would put rocks in her pocket. Right, ride the 11, 1200 pound horse. horse. That's right. And enjoy it. And they're telling me that horse is abused? No. You abuse something, you make it mean. That's right. An abused animal is not going to work. It's just unreal. And I've been around it all my life. That's, that's it. <laughs> Three year old Marion Gilden. This was a good class. Now, this was the uh, Ryder Cup. Thomas Derrickson, he, you know that boy is doing a good yes, job. Yes, he is doing a he, good he job. He really is. Mm -hmm. The horse belongs to Missy and Tim Johnson. Ladies' privilege. I like that name. Yes. He's walking in Dixon. Chad Thompson was reserved. Sweet I Am, Lake Weaver. The Red Dragon, Sam Martin. And Havana Jose, Brandon Givens finished out the ribbons. But the ladies' privilege, Thomas Derrickson, when we first did the first walking, what a horse show, that young man right there wasn't knee high to a grasshopper. He was just a little baby. Mm -hmm. he done a, he's doing a super job out oh, there yes he is. training his horses. I tell you what, that's a great class. Yes. Great class of horses. Chad Thompson is riding a good horse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a uh, class of a bunch of good horses in there. 
Brandon doing a good, good job. You know, all these younger guys is coming up. And they're talking about taking their livelihood away That's from right. them. That's right. And they can blow smoke all they want to about, oh, everything be okay. No, it won't. People come to see performance horses. Yeah. They have since 1939 and before. It's not going to change. It's not going to change just because the USDA wants it to. You look at all them people there. In I know. Background right there watching. I'd rather for them be doing this right here than running around there robbing, stealing, and killing somebody out on the streets. Uh, well, USDA doesn't. They about is. I, I don't know. I, I just. I am. I am so d disgusted with the way things are right now and the way that different divisions will get out of whack to where they're destroying everything. I mean, yeah. it, it just, and it makes no sense. If it was rhyme or reason to it, be different, but there's not. Ladies privilege, Ladies privilege and Thomas Derrickson from Missy and Tim Johnson, your three-year-old Baron Gildan winner. I guess that, that's what really upsets me is the, the USDA, they say all this, but when it comes to proving it, all the studies and everything are in our favor. But they're saying because their people inspect the horse and find him out, he's out. And I can remember when they used to overrule industry veterinarians. Yeah, that really know these horses. They would say, "Yeah, this was good to go." They'd turn around, and turn it down, like they. But then they couldn't agree with each other. Here's your four-year-old stallions. I thought Robert. Now, Robert Dortch, he did outstanding yeah. in this class. Slim and hot, and Robert Dortch took the blue. Hot toddy, gosh almighty, Greg Kaiser, my addiction, Howard Eastridge. I am limitless. John Gladney and crosstown rival Brian Reese finished out the ribbons. Oh, Brian, he sets up there, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Howard Easter is a good rider. He's a good rider. He's got some good horses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got That's a lot of people that really enjoy this industry. Robert is one of them. I talked yeah. to him quite a while the other night, and he he just he he, he just loves horses. Yeah. Walk back to a walk. You know, the people is trying to take this this horse away and try to take this livelihood. I don't. To me, and I might be wrong for saying this, but I don't think they have no heart. I don't and know how much they gonna kill. Families and stuff like you know the well, industry and how much you know people rely on making this how they make they they live they live in. You know, and and I and I'll say this to their face. I'll say it to anybody. Do we have bad apples? Yes, that's and right. I know we do, and we know we do. However, here's something that they can't take away. If they were right, they would not have to lie. They would not have to falsify. They would not have to do all that. They could prove it by being truthful, and they can't prove it by being truthful. Amateur four-year-old stallion winner, Slim and Hot, and Robert Dirch. And that, that's, I'm stating a fact. But I'm Jerry, stating a fact. Anybody in their right mind know that the, the government's there, the, the DQP's there. Who gonna wanna break the law and you know you got to go through that to go to, to, to get the show. That's now, it. Who, who in the world would want to do that? It, it just, it makes no sense what they're claiming. That's right. But they, they twist, they turn, and I'm going to tell you. You're going to check and double check and everything else to make sure everything is perfect to go through that because you know what you got to go through to get in. That's it. So you're not going to, you're not going to risk it. Amateur 50 and over, I tell you what, I hated that she threw a shoe. But now she was putting on a show. show. She put on a real good show. Zorro Jr. and Beth Beasley took the blue in this class. Dixie White Sox and Linda Gerard was reserved. The Night King and Jeff Smith. I like that horse of Jeff. Yeah. And King Charles and Jimmy Sauls finished out the ribbons. 
But right tonight, that right there was getting it done, buddy. El Saro Jr. Have some nice horses in there. Yes, it is. Real nice. You've been hard to pick. But I, I don't know, Jerry. I, I, I watch them, and I watch, I watched Amy. She called this guy in to inspect this horse. I was videoing, but she saw someone else in the industry bringing a horse in. So she tells the camera girl, she says, if they try to go out, stop them. I want to inspect them. Yeah. And she rushed through the inspection that she was doing. I can lay it out the time and let them see that she took hardly any time inspecting that horse just so she could get to the other. Yes. So it, it, they can't say they don't target. They can't, they can't say that. Beth Beasley, you did outstanding, lady. She done a real good job. I tell you what, she's a good rider. You know, as again, you take her and her daughters. Yeah. That's involved. How much does this business that's have what helped? They have do. done, I have mean, done for this, for them for her kids and stuff yeah. like that. Here's youth ponies. I'm big enough than Maxine. Now she, she, buddy, she, she did good. Ally Joe Jacobs, right there. Switchblade and Ally Joe was reserved. Shady Black Betty. Cole McCormick, Miss Charlie Walker, Storm Sims. That's. And you know, all you these kids right Joe here. Her. That's right. Joe was making a great, great show. Now she really was. And she made a bobble right in front of the judge. Yeah. And that little horse right there. I'm big enough now. Hey, he's hey, like he's a sewing machine he, now. He's a piece of work, ain't he? What was that singer sewing machine? Yeah. And that horse right there, Ellie huh? Joe's. Yeah. Made a real good show. All them kids made a good shows. Oh, all of them did. All of them done a good job in that class. And this is what I like to watch. As a horse trainer, I like to watch them kids. <laughs> I tell you what, big enough is, is uh, consistent. Just, just like a little sewing machine, yeah. just like you said. Look at there. Synced up just perfect. You know, my biggest thing is watching the kids and the amateur classes because oh, yeah. you feel like you can train them horses and put them horses out there for them to ride. That's it. And that's, that's what gets me. If these horses were abused, you think a kid could ride them? That's right. I don't think so. Big enough. And Maxine Beasley. One half of the cookie makers. <laughs> the cookie <laughs> machine. But they, they do make some good cookies. Yes. They told me they had some cookies out there, but I didn't see you. I told them, I said, don't, they don't let Jerry know it. He'll get them all. <laughs> they do do that. Mm -mm -mm. Right here, your four year old amateur mare and gilding. And I'll tell you, Caress Hanneman. She made a tremendous show. Yeah. Jose is a hell of a, hell of a view. It's hard for me to say that. Hell of a view. And Caress Hammond for Tommy and Nancy Mills took the blue. The Char Queen and B.B. Beasley was reserved. Moonshine Mama. Richard Mitch. Steinway. Amelia Hesedine. And Yi Yang Girl. Yi Yang Girl. Yin Yang Girl. Uh -huh. Haley Lane Clay finished out the ribbons. Tell you what, there's two good mares in there. Oh yeah. Jose's hell of a view. And the Char Queen. The Char Queen's a good horse.
Bedford County uh, went out there and added a lot to that track and built it up because it was it, it was getting in bad shape, but the county took care of it. There's Caress. Caress made she, a real good ride. She's a good rider now, I tell you. Right there's your winner, Caress Heinemann for Nancy and Tommy Mills, amateur four-year-old Baron Gildy winner, Jose's hell of a view. Tommy and Miss Nancy are some good people too. Oh, They're yeah. real nice, yeah. real nice people. They got a beautiful farm out there on 231. Yep, they do. Yeah, a real good nice people. farm. Yeah, real good people. What, that's a nice horse. It is a nice horse. This is, this is a great horse show. Yep. Real good horse show. Shark right there, Shark Queen. Oh, yeah. She wasn't taking no, no, uh, that's right. no prisoners, man. She was getting it done. And that horse has got that when he slows down into that flat, flat walk, walk. Yeah. Son, he, he's got a flat walk that can get it, just get it done. It's nice to see them come, because they walk around arm in arm. You can tell they're twins. Yeah. What a auxiliary members. This was a good one. Miss Virginia, she was tickled with this. Title defense and Samantha Green took the blue for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. A master's degree in Jacqueline Wave for Jack Heffington. Manning, Taylor Walters for Bolly Walters family. And my brother in arms, Maria Bobo for Missy and Tim Johnson. I'm so happy for, for Miss Virginia. You know, she she got some nice horses too. Oh Lord, she got a lot of nice yard ornaments too. Mm -hmm. Real nice lady. I mean, extremely nice horses. All right, riders, it's runner walk time. All riders on the rail showing at a run and walk. There's some nice horses in there. It is some nice horses in that class. I mean, Manny, he's a world champion. Horses. But real nice horses. All, yeah. all the horses real nice horses in there. Oh, shoot. You know, you can sit there and, and I've oh, sat there and watched them. And but Samantha after it's over, you go back and, and watch a video yeah. and you say, well, you know, I didn't say that horse, but he, that pretty good horse. horse yeah. Mm -hmm. Title defense in Samantha Green for owner Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. I know Miss Virginia is ticked. Yes. Her horses did well this yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. Samantha's a good rider. Yeah. Here's your three-year-old stallions. I tell you what, this was this was an outstanding class. Wilhelm, Dan Waddell from That's Missy Johnson horse. took the blue. Belmont and Lake Weaver. I am that I am, Tim Smith. Give you cold chills, Jesse Barnes. That horse right there belongs to Jerry Mike. That's a good horse. Yeah. He walks alone, Thomas Derrickson. But I'm gonna, I was tickled with Wilhelm though because that was Buddy's last horse. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. And he gets out there and gets it done. We have to be careful sometimes because 
some of the music played. Yeah. We can't air it. <laughs> okay. CJ catches a lot of it. That was a good class there too. Yeah, it was. Needed a little water on the track, yeah. but other than that, good, good class. Lake Weaver, he's doing a real good job. Yes, he is. He really is. I'm gonna tell you what, Dan Waddell. He, he's uh, he's he's there. Oh yeah. I mean, he's getting it done. He's, Working at it. <coughs> Dan does a super job. I think he does. On the morning. He's got some good help out there. Yep, he does. That's what it takes. You gotta have good owners, good horses, and good help. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got that, you ain't got much. Dan's a super jockey. Yeah. No Missy, when I texted back and forth to her, they were tickled. Nice horse, real nice horse. Right here, amateur ladies. Black Gin Scout and Megan Hammond took the blue for Shamrock Farms. Flying High CC, Cheryl Crawford. Charlie on Fire, Jeanette Taylor finished out the ribbon. I'm going to tell you, you can look far and wide at that black gin scout. Oh, yeah. One of the best. All right, amateur ladies, it's running one well time. Let them walk home. Every now and then you can really see how dusty it got. There's Black Gin Scout, Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm. That is a walking piece oh, yeah. of work. Look at our amateur ladies winner. It's entry number 101. Black Gin Scout and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farms of Shelbyville. Black Gin Scout and Megan Hammond. Just keep it going. I like horses with a head up like that. Oh, I do front too. legs, walking off his butt. Fluid, yep. smooth. That's how you can tell he's been trained right. You're right about that. Look at there. Not a step out of place. Wherever he picked them front feet out, that's where them back feet going. That's, that's it. That's what you're looking for. That's it. That's it. The nutshell. That's what you want. Yep. You want to take us to a commercial? You want I'll, me to? I'll take you. Take All us right. to it. Take off. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you got all got a lot of talent that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. More of What a Horse, coming up. <laughs> We got some more video, and we got, I'm gonna tell you, 
we got some good video. This first class, Jerry, I love that mare. I'm telling you, oh, I yeah, love that mare. mare. <laughs> Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. This, this horse is unreal, outstanding. And in there against, oh, my black Betty, Dan Waddell, that's Smith and Samara's yeah. horse, George, that's a great horse. I'm on the honor roll, Tim Smith for Doug Choir. Yakety yak, that's the horse you just saw. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I thought he was making a he super a good, good show. show. Yeah. John Allen Calloway. That's Eli Cunningham's horse. Yeah. And he'll let you know that. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Z Frazaro, Chris Gibbons finished out the ribbon. But I'm going to tell you now that Jimmer's country girl, ain't one thing wrong with her. She ain't got my name on her That's papers. That's right. So she is a piece of work. I followed her her whole career. And I'm going to tell you what, what I really like about her. It makes no difference if Josh is on her or Carol's on her. She is flat getting it done. Yeah. Nice man. You can pick her out of a crowd, but yeah. Him. That yakety yak good. Yeah. But I do like that right there, buddy. a lot. Jimmer's Country Girl. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Lee and Carol Baxter. I know Carol's tickled with her. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts are first. Now, if you look to the rail, you'll see our blue ribbon winner for our Riders Cup four year old man to get a pretty horse. It's a pretty horse. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Lee and Carol Baxter of Alexandria, Louisiana. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts with the blue here tonight. So happy for Josh and Carol oh, and too. all of them. You know, they don't get to show a lot down that I way, know. so they got to come all the way up here to show. I know. I told them the other day, if it wasn't for horses and basketball, they'll be broke. Yeah. <laughs> he agreed. <laughs> right here's your show pleasure, five and under. Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway took the blue for Bob Adcock. Charlie's Time and Tim Smith for Jeff Rich and Optimus. Sam Barton for Paul Simmons. That's a good horse. Yeah. Those are three good horses in good there. Horses. But I'm gonna tell you, <clears throat> that uh, Top Gun Maverick, Yeah. I don't know what it is, but Bob Adcock, got a, he's got an end somewhere. Oh, yeah. that he, he finds these good horses, somebody, I think, I think he got somebody running around the barns <laughs> saying, well, you got good. I need to call Bob. Because every time you look up, he's got another good one. That's a big horse, too. Yeah, he's big. Well, it's a pretty place over there. Oh, yeah. Ain't the dust ain't flying. I wish they had better lighting. That'd be good. And since they fixed the track, they may be going to put better lighting in over. That's a great place to have a horse show. It is a good place to have a horse show. Top Gun Maverick. There's your winner. Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway. Bill Calloway, our first. On the rail now is our Blue Ribbon winner for a Riders' Cup Show Pleasure 5 and Under. It's entry number 431. Bob's a good guy. Yeah, yeah Bob, yeah, he's a real good guy. guy. I tell you, every time you see him, he's going to speak to you. He's going to have a big smile on his face. He's a he's a super person. That's always, you know? Yeah, that's it. Always. Every time.
Good horse. Yeah. Joe Paul. Right, right here. Joe Paul. I thought he made a great show. Both ways. Pro Am. Yeah. Both ways of the ring. I thought he did outstanding. Shane did a good job Shane showing. Shane did a real good job showing it. Tanner, and I ain't knocking Tanner. Tanner, Tanner did Tanner good done too. A good job. Well, you but, know, Tanner knows what he's doing. You oh, know, yeah. he's a good. But I, I thought Shane, first way of the ring, I thought Shane did real well. It's a nice horse. Yeah. My brothers in arms. And right here. My brother in arms and Thomas Derrickson, Young Trainers Reserve winner from Missy and Tim Johnson. I tell you, he's a nice horse. Yeah. What gets me, I, I just, I cannot grasp how the USDA can say all of these horses are abused, so we're going to shut it down. Yeah. And, and that's, I don't know. Honors to Mr. Guest, Dwayne Wilson, your show pleasure winner. I, I thought he was walking. Yeah. And I, I mean walking. Like I said again, I'm so proud for Miss Virginia. I know I am too. Yeah. That show yeah. pleasure class was tough now. Mm -hmm. Ain't no gimme in there, that's for sure. Everybody calls him Guido. Yeah. Now he, that horse is flat and getting to it. But look who he was in there against. Yeah. Georgia Florida line was reserving that class with Tim Smith, and he was getting it done. Oh, yeah. All these people don't realize a horse can be making a fantastic show and make a bobble in front right. of a judge, mm -hmm. and it cost him. Yep. That Georgia Florida line now, I mean he he has he's gone through two or three owners. Yeah. And he always he, he, put them yeah, in the winner's circle. That's right. <laughs> he puts them in the winner's circle. Right here is another one. This was a great show. Great class. Chris Heinemann, Jose Showoff, for Tommy and Nancy Mills. She made an outstanding show. Yeah. Chris, she does a good job. She's a real nice lady, too. She's. Oh, yeah. Chris. I got to talk to her good. some at this horse show over here. I tell you, people, you, your horse could be making a good show and make a bobble. I was had one showing. It was up in East Tennessee, and I went out and stood on the rail. That was my first mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what happened, don't you? <laughs> the horse saw me. <laughs> right here's your two-year-old Marin Gildens. Now, this, this was a good one. Yeah. Out of Jose and Drew Graves took the blue for Tommy and Nancy Mills. Happy Ever After, Thomas Derrickson. Main attraction, Dan Waddell. Jimmers, Tequila Cash, Josh Watts. All Shady, Sam Martin. Jimmers, Tequila Cash. Tell you what, that's going to be a good horse, too. Yeah. Carol end up on him. Drew done a good job in his class yeah, here, yes too. Yes, he did. <clears throat> yeah. Tell you what, it was a lot of good horses. It was. Mm-hmm. And we, we got a lot of good ones coming that could be great. But we got a battle in front of us. And it's a lot of time for the east side, right? It's following up to the east side to the lot up.
Out of Jose, and there he is. Two-year-old Marin Gildim winner. Out of Jose and Drew Graves for Tommy and Nancy Mills. Why don't you say caress and lend up on that horse? That's right. I will say caress and lend up on it. <laughs> You're going to yeah. lose that horse, Drew. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> There's got to be something when Hunter walks in and says, I'm going to show him now. <laughs> Oh, Drew, he don't care, though. No, he, he, he's a good one. He, he is. really is. A lot of fun to talk to. All right. That's it for this week, but we're going we're gonna to have some more video for next week because we're, we're going to be cart training, doing different things. Yep. And I, I love that cart training, buddy. Now, that, that I do. <clears throat> I think that's a... Teaches them to guide. Oh yeah, teach them, use them that teach them a lot in. of stuff. Yeah, that teach Just them a lot, a lot of different stuff. I, I do want to encourage everybody though, uh, and I'm talking to all breeds, and I know there's several different breeds watching us. I'm getting friend requests for the Water Horse Facebook page, so they can see what's going on, and I'm I'm accepting them. And I know there. I can look and see that they're saddlebred people, they're Morgan people, Hackney Pony, a yeah. couple of Pasifinos. Y'all may believe that the walking horse is going to be the only one that they come after, but if you read that 225 pages and you read it close, you're going to find out that what we've been saying all along, one by one, you're next. From us, it'll be the saddlebreds. Then it will be, I'm thinking, then it'll be the Morgan. Yeah. It'll be the Rocky Mountain horse. They've already gone to some quarter horse shows. I'm going to say so, Fox Trotters. I believe Fox Trotters. They, they're not, it's, it's kind of like this. When you're guide, guided by and directed by a humane activist group, and that's what the USDA HPA is. It's directed by those people. Yeah. You're in for a battle. So all of you get ready. Until then, I'll see y'all next week. Yeah, be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.